hello friends first of all a very warm welcome to all of you on our channel that is achieve ies so i how are you i hope you are doing well so friends as you know that on our channel we are covering the syllabus of upsc civil services and for that purpose we have started multiple series on our ch channel that target your prelims as well as mains so currently we have 8 to 9 series in which we cover your prelims part and one series that is mains oriented so friends what we do in these prelims uh, series we we daily pick up a topic and discuss mcqs of uh, that topic so uh, uh, for example today is the day of geography so we will discuss the 10 questions of geography and, uh, and similar in similar manner on other days we cover the other topics so in a week we nearly cover 9 to 10 topic uh, nearly 10 topics and in this way approximate 100 questions are covered in a week and we will continue to do so till 31st may that is uh, one day before your prelims exam uh, and your prelims is scheduled on 2nd june we will end this series this initiative only one day before your prelims exam so that you can have a comprehensive amount of mcq coverage so that you can uh, you can practice them well and you can be confident in your prelims exam so friends let's start our discussion the first question of geography is Sina about sinai peninsula so sinai peninsula lies between so friends uh, the solution is uh, before you so it is a mistake by me uh, it, it should have been uh, it should not have been there it should it should be below but let me tell you that sinai peninsula is between gulf of uh, gulf of Suez and gulf of akaba and let me show you on the map the same uh, here is a map you so you can see that uh, this is the map and uh, and uh, here uh, let me show you in detail that this is Sinai Peninsula so here you can see the Sinai Peninsula so it is in between the Gulf of uh, uh, Gulf of Suez so here is Gulf of Suez it is written here so entire this region is called Gulf of Suez and then there is Gulf of uh, Aqaba and uh, and this Sinai Peninsula lies between Gulf of Aqaba and uh, and Gulf of uh, Suez. So friends, uh, here is Suez Canal, which is very important. And you might have heard about this that uh, there was a Suez crisis, and you could have been aware about this that Sinai Peninsula was uh, in 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 Suez crisis. It was invaded by the Israel and it was captured. And it is let me tell you that it is Egyptian territory, and it is the it is the only part of Egyptian territory that is in Asia. So it comes under Asia. So here is Egypt. So the, this uh, Sinai Peninsula is also part of your uh, uh, Egypt, but but it comes under Asia. So it is a kind of land bridge between here Asia, the Israel, Jordan, Saudi Arabia, and all those, and between the uh, Africa that is here, the uh, African continent, and the, uh, the the country here is Egypt. And Sinai, Pen Sinai Peninsula is also uh, a territory of Egypt, and it was invaded by Israelis in uh, in in Suez Crisis. So later on, after an agreement between Egypt and Israel government, uh, the uh, the claim was uh, kind of renounced by the Israel. And it is also between Me Mediterranean Sea. There is Mediterranean Sea. So please observe it carefully. Such questions are often asked uh, asked by the UPSC. And here is Red Sea. So you can see the Red Sea. And uh, this is Red Sea. So I have uh, shown to you this uh, this map. And uh, let me tell you, friends. Uh, that this such type of questions are common uh, and in UPSC the map based questions so you must ensure that you uh, do you cover them uh, comprehensively so please do map work and practice map work uh, in a in a in an effective manner so that you can tackle any such type of questions so it can be done by following the past papers of the UPSC so learning is that that basically it is situated between Mediterranean Sea so as I have shown you that here is Mediterranean Sea and uh, after that here uh, and uh, as i have told you that to the north is mediterranean sea and to the, red, to the south is red sea so here is red sea i have shown you so here it is so it is a land bridge between asia and africa and it is the only egyptian territory located in asia so please note this point it is the only egyptian territory and friends uh, uh, it, uh, it was occupied by israel and uh, during Suez crisis but later on it was uh, given back to Egypt during the Israel Egypt uh, peace treaty of 1979 and subsequent efforts and uh, the Israel withdrew from the Sinai Peninsula so remember it please remember it it is important it is part of Egyptian territory and a land bridge between Asia and Africa continent it is a and it is only part of uh, Egypt that is in Asia so let's move on to the second question the second question is the most remarkable feature of planet Uranus is uh, 
so first option is it rotates in the direction that is opposite to the direction of uh, the uh, rotation of the earth second it has zero axial tilt so which of the following is correct so we have to choose the correct so let me tell you friends that first statement is correct yes uranus uh, rotates in an opposite direction to which the earth rotates earth rotates from west to east but the, the uranus as well as venus rotates from east to west so these are the only two planets that is uranus, uranus and v uh, venus that uh, that uh, that revolve from east to west and also let me tell you friends that the second statement is incorrect because it did not it has not zero axial tax it uh, it tilt it has in fact a very high tilt on its axis so it so it appears like uh, like uh, like it is uh, rolling while while it while it uh, uh, kind of uh, uh, goes goes in, in the revolution around the sun so second statement is clearly wrong so the answer is a only so the solution is a so justification is uh, like venus venus uranus also rotates from east to west that is in a direction opposite to, to that of the earth that is uh, from west to east so it has highly tilted rotational axis and in fact in its orbital motion it appears to roll on its side so let's move on to the third question the third question is if you want to increase the cultivation of coffee you would recommend uh, cropping coffee plants in which of these conditions so friends here we, we have been asked that which of the following conditions are ideal for the uh, uh, planting of the plantation of the coffee so a warm wet climate and well drained uh, loamy soil dry climate b is dry climate with a soil that holds water well c is a hot uh, a hot region with very high rainfall and alluvial soil and uh, d is any region where sunshine and water can abundant are abundantly available so friends let me tell you that clearly uh, the 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 b and d options are directly eliminated because so coffee doesn't require dry climate it it requires uh, 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 plenty of uh, kind of uh, uh, moisture for its growing and for, for its growth so let me tell you friends that c is not the answer because uh, most of the students they could have uh, uh, guessed at c or a but let me tell you that c is not the answer it doesn't require hot region rather it requires warm region so hot region is kind of uh, uh, that has very high temperature and warm is kind of that is mild that is mildly mildly we can say uh, mildly mildly hot so it uh, hot is not that much hot so so a is the correct answer so th this coffee grows well in warm wet climate and well drained loamy soils and the, the the c condition which is written that is a hot region with heavy rainfall uh, and alluvial soil it is used for the kind of uh, cultivation of uh, jute it is ideal for the cultivation of jute and not coffee so this is about your uh, uh, question and i have told you already that the solution is a because the conditions suitable for for, cof uh, for coffee are uh, my uh, kind of wine mild wine type of climate and wet climate and uh, well drained loamy soil so for, for uh, alluvial soil is required for uh, for your uh, this jute and uh, J in india and bangladesh are the leading produce producers of it and bangladesh is uh, bangladesh is in fact the leading producer and uh, about coffee coffee required as i have told you already the conditions i have told to you and brazil is the leading producer of it followed by colombia and india so here is fourth question the fourth question is the coastline of atlantic ocean provides an ideal location for natural harbors and ports because a is ocean currents flows at a high speed in the ocean b tidal phenomena is sparsely observed in the ocean c it has an irregular intended coastline uh, no delta uh, d is no deltas uh, are formed near the atlantic ocean so let me tell you friends that the correct answer will be uh, c it has an irregular and intended coastline why friends this statement is correct because uh, friends uh, this intended indented and uh, irregular coastline what it provides it kind of provides safe harbor safe harbors in which there is enough uh, the, uh, the the depth of the water is enough that uh, that the ships can anchor uh, themselves so uh, so it is uh, the, these 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 this coastline of atlantic is that's why an ideal location for natural uh, harbors because it is much indented indented and irregular so it provides depth uh, which is much necessary for uh, kind of anchoring the ships so c is correct so it, it is a kind of also kind of strategic uh, uh, this intended coastline is also strategic and economic importance because ultimately if there are natural harbors and ports then obviously economic activity will be there uh, in a in a great vigor so certainly uh, the great cities will be will be that uh, that are that will be established on the coastline will be dependent upon that code that that uh, that port 
so it plays an important role in the economy of a country so you might uh, have seen the on the map of the world that uh, that this uh, uh, the, uh, on the eastern part of uh, 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 northern america there are a lot of uh, co coast coast based cities so that they are because of the the ports that support them because uh, from there the co considerable amount of economic activity takes place and it it, it is exported uh, the the products are are produced and exported to the other markets in the world so this is about your fourth question so i have already told you that the scenes of correct answer so here is an explanation so i have uh, provided you the uh, explain uh, explanation already in great detail so let's move on to the next question without wasting any time so fifth question is which of the following is following are not fold mountains first rabli from mountain second himalayas th uh, third satpura mountains fourth pindyas mountains so friends please clear care uh, and carefully notice the directive note the fold mountains so we have been asked that which of the following are not the fold mountains so let me tell you that friends rabli mountains are uh, yes they are fold mountains and in fact they are old fold mountains so they are uh, not formed through through the new tectonic activity that is currently going on uh, they 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 formed during the paleo tectonic activity so the rabli mountains are are fold mountains and himalayas are also fold mountains but let me tell you they are young fold mountains and they are formed during this neo uh, plate tectonic activity so they are young fold mountain and they are still in their formative stage so they are still rising so let me tell you about friends uh, with that which of the following is not the fold mountains then the correct answer is satpura range and the vindhyan mountains because satpura range and vindhyan mountains are block mountains they are not formed by uplifting of the crust they are in fact formed by the uh, by the kind of this kind of uh, break in the earth's crust due to which a particular portion has been raised and they they, they that portion has become the block mountains uh, uh, so the correct answer is 3 and 4 that is a pura range and vindhyan mountains are not fold mountains so the answer would be a because uh, this is uh, the answer is 3 and 4 only so the solution is a so justification is already i have told you that fold mountains basically formed due to warping of the earth's crust and aravallis are old while himalayas are young fold mountains and satpura and vindhya are found in the central western part of indian subcontinent block mountains so i have already provided to you great uh, in a great detail the explanation let's move on to the sixth question uh, sixth question is high tides in the oceans are helpful in so here we have been asked that which of the following uh, in which of the following activities the high tides are helpful first is navigation second is fishing third is generation of electric electricity so we have to choose the correct answer so let me tell you friends uh, that uh, Uh, all of these uh, the, uh, the 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 high tides help in all of these that is navigation also fishing also generation of electricity because ultimately when the high tides are there the water enters in the turbines and it rotates the turbines and the generation of electricity takes place and also navigation is easy uh, during the high tides because it is easy to anchor a ship Uh, because the depth of the uh, uh, natural harbor increases and also friends uh, during the uh, during this these high tides the fishing uh, the fish uh, the, a lot of fish move towards the move 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 near the no, near the shore areas so there there is plentiful uh, catch of fish activity fish that is that takes place during this activity so the correct answer would be d that is 1 2 and 3 so all the solution is d so here is justification it traces the water level close to the shores and the ship Uh, arrive there and harbor more easily and also they help in fishing because many fishes come closer to the shoreline and also there is the rise and fall of uh, water due to tides uh, uh, causes the turbines to rotate and in this way electricity generation takes place so let's move on to the seventh question the seventh question is poles experience about 6 months day and 6 months night due to which of the following so friends uh, you might have been aware you could have been aware about this fact so let me tell you that uh, these poles uh, the uh, 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 these polar areas experience a kind uh, at a, a night of 6 uh, uh, months nights and 6 six, six month uh, day so friends please hold on a hold phone for a second uh, let me let me tell you that uh, the my laptop's battery is depleting so it will be shut down so video will uh, stop so let me pick up the charger where it is Um, sorry, 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 much, much sorry for the interruption. Okay, so I have picked up. Okay, so uh, let me let me connect. Let me let me, let me connect to uh, it to the charger so that the video doesn't stop, and my otherwise my efforts will be kind of 
closed so thank you for adjustments i have now uh, connected the charger so now there will be no worry about the battery so i will i could be able to i will be able to provide you the explanation in great detail so friends let me tell you that uh, Paul's experience about 6 months day and 6 months night and uh, uh, here we have been asked that uh, which of the following reasons this happens. So first axial tilt of earth, second bulge of earth on the poles, third revolution of earth around the sun. So friends let me tell you that uh, second is clearly un uh, uh, incorrect because there is no bulge on poles and uh, why the bulge would 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 uh, would, would <coughs> can kind of uh, affect the day and night duration so obviously second option is wrong regarding the first and third the first and third is correct because earth is tilted and due to its tilt uh, the the uh, certain certain parts uh, are are the, uh, the, the the one po one polar region I, that is that could be either south no, southern pole or northern pole pole it it remains exposed to sun rays during six months so, and and uh, after six months the other pole gets uh, get 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 exposed to this uh, sunlight so here you will be get, uh, you will get an also the also the revolution and this 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 or uh, kind of uh, kind of repetition or rotation we can say of uh, north and south pole due, is due to revolution of earth around the sun so here is a picture from which you will get an idea so basically first and three are responsible for this uh, that is six months day and night so the correct answer will, will be c so here i have included pic, uh, a pic to 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 provide you the clearance so here is uh, here is the image so you can see that uh, this is com this is the earth and sun rays are coming so if the sun rays are coming but the as the earth is tilted on its axis so I, I, here is this is earth's axis so earth earth is tilted in it on its axis so i have already shown you that how uh, sorry this, this has been so here you can see the tilt of the earth so this is the tilt uh, this is the tilt of the earth so here, here this is earth's axis it is not uh, uh, kind of earth's axis is not uh, kind of straight it is not in this manner so you can see you can see that here the axis is not in this manner so in, it is not in this manner it is tilted uh, on its orbital plane so due to this tilt the, the this portion for example you can see here that the, this is northern pole so this this portion is uh, not exposed to sunlight so it remains uh, remains remains uh, in, in in darkness for 6 months even even though the earth rotates every 24 hours because it will not uh, it will not expose this portion to the uh, sun rays it will rather uh, expose this portion that is black portion to the sun rays but this will all this the upper portion will always remain away from the sun rays so here uh, here is southern pole which is exposed to and when when the revolution when, when the earth revolve, revolves around uh, around the sun in its uh, in its orbit then uh, this uh, this this uh, uh, this ro rotation of uh, north pole and uh, uh, south pole uh, experiencing day and night takes place so this is the explanation so already i have provided to you in great detail uh, the explanation by the image so let's move on to the eighth question without wasting any time so here we have been asked which of the following nations are the members of east asia summit so friends uh, you might be knowing about this fact that there are there is a grouping called asean and due to after, after which the after which the summit ha, a, a, annually a summit held a, a summit is held and that summit is called east asia summit and uh, there are several countries that are part of it and uh, we have been asked that which of the following are the part a india pakistan china sri lanka b india china russia australia c united states vietnam vietnam china and sri lanka d japan laos malaysia and mongolia so friends uh, clearly d is not correct because mongolia is not in uh, not a part of it so it is clearly wrong and about uh, the fact uh, let me tell you that india is also part of it so obviously c also can be eliminated india also take part uh, take part in east asia summit so obviously there are now the only options left are a and b so let me tell you friends that the correct answer is b india china russia and australia because pakistan is not part of it east asia summit so the solution is b so here uh, the, it, the membership is of basically 10 countries that are Asian countries and Asian countries are Br Bruni, Cambodia, Indonesia, Laos, Malaysia, Burma, Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, Vietnam, Australia, China, India, Japan, New Zealand and Republic of Korea and United States and Russia. 
so this this is an and uh, this is an annual meeting uh, that are take place after asian uh, leaders meeting so this is about your eighth question let's move on to the ninth question the ninth question is given below are some sites where major protests were made against the respective projects consider the matches with the river, rivers on which they are built and we have to tell that which of the following matches are correctly matched first sardar sarovar dam narmada uh, second tipai mukh dam on barak river Th three krishna ganga uh, dam on krishna fourth tehri dam on mahanadi so let me tell you friends that the first is correct sardar sarovar dam is on narmada so first is correct and also second is also correct because tipai mukh dam uh, is on barak river that is in manipur so second is also correct but let me tell you friends that the fourth is clearly wrong because tehri dam is not on mahanadi it is in fact on uh, Bhagirathi river so this is wrong and also krishna and okay, krishna 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 nagar uh, dam is on is on uh, kaveri so it is not on krishna it is on kaveri so i have already told you that uh, explanation so this the solution is correct match is uh, only first and two so already i have provided to you in great detail the explanation so the answer is uh, b that is 1 and 2 only so solution is b so let's uh, move on to the uh, other part uh, other question like next question the last question of the day that is uh, kudermukh located in western ghats is known for first being one of the global global hottest hotspots of biodiversity second being an export dedicated mining unit so let me friends tell to you that uh, that which of the following is correct here we have been asked which of the following is correct so let me tell you that both of these are correct yes it is one of the global hottest hotspots of biodiversity and it is located in western ghats it is also unesco world heritage site and also uh, also the largest protected block in western western ghats and also there is uh, there is a dedicated mining unit there for export so the solution would be see that is both one and two so here is explanation it is in exco world heritage site and one of the hottest hotspots of biological diversity and it is largest protected block within the western ghats and uh, it has a unit uh, devoted entirely to export so this is all about your questions of today friends uh, if you like the video please like it share it with your friends uh, and if you like the questions please uh, please tell me in the comment box uh, that what is the level of questions and how they were and how you, how was your experience with the mcqs and friends uh, in case you want to subscribe to the pdfs of these discussions you can contact us at this number uh, that is uh, 8968426481 so here it is uh, i have highlighted the contact number so in case you want to subscribe to the pdfs of these discussions you can do whatsapp us at 8968426481 so friends uh, as they, as we cover uh, nearly 100 questions in a week so you will be getting much benefit by subscribing to these pdfs because let me tell you at the end of the day when your exam will be near you will not be able to see 25 to 30 minute long video and also at that time if you if you start reading the standard books or ncrts that would be a wastage of time because uh, standard books are to be read at that time when there is enough time and they they have to be revised at that time when 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 you have uh, so much of time in case you don't have the time and in case you have started the preparation uh, in later stage or in case you 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 are uh, you are worried uh, or, or you have started the preparation earlier but you were not able to complete the syllabus then these mcqs will obviously help you and they will also help you in case you have already revised but uh, you are you are kind of uh, giving test series because ultimately friends at the end of the day what matters is the how how fast you can do a revision because it 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 increases uh, each revision increases your confidence level and with each revision you you get get you get confidence that you 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 know, you have the idea of the syllabus so in this manner nearly 4 5 revisions are needed which can obviously not be done by following standard books and ncrts at that time so it would be an utter wastage of time also to see the videos so at that time you need some kind of pdf so obviously these mcq pdfs are very valuable for you because they not only provide you the solution uh, also but they also provide you the explanation so in each question you are your four concepts are covered that is why a particular option is correct and why others are not correct and the where in which context they will be correct so in this way you 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 cover the syllabus in a comprehensive manner so in so if you if you want to be confident in your prelims exam you can whatsapp us at this number so obviously there 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 is certain amount that we will charge you people for this 
and uh, and obviously this is for our efforts that we are doing so if you wish to subscribe you can do whatsapp us and lastly friend thank you thank you to all of you and do, please please ensure that uh, that you you subscribe to our channel and also ensure that you do, uh, do not forget to press the bell icon because then only you will get all the important notifications so thank you friends have a nice day have a very 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 nice day thank you